versus Gerash. What made me stop playing Midrange Druid? I just wasn't doing very good with it today. I've actually never done good with Midrange Druid this season. So... I think it's not as good as it was last season. Mostly because of Zoo. I guess it makes some sense to save armor smiths for later, because earlier on they're kind of food for the weapons. I'm not really interested in playing a style where I don't play Aflat in 3. Um, it does kind of make sense to try to never play them, but I feel like what we should do is just mulligan Aclate, but if you have Aclate on 3, you should still play it. I feel like I was not... I, I, in the past, in this matchup, I would never play them sometimes. I think it's wrong. If you're having them, you might as well play them. You can win this matchup on tempo a lot. If you have elites as well, you have some leeway there. So he doesn't have Death Spite. I'm probably not going to play Shield Block. Shield Block he doesn't like need to react to. My play Acolyte, even though it's cycle, it baited a Bash. Strike, strike. I'm gonna play shield block too. I can take the hit. I have a nice tempo lead because he missed removal, so I should cycle and pressure this game instead of trying to uh, save the like save the slam for the last hit. That belongs in a museum. Strike. I'm mostly interested in how hard it is to remove every minion on my board. So these still bait out like 3 damage each. I'm not really interested in, say, playing minions here. If I can't remove this guy, or even something like Harris Baron Geddon and trade one of my guys into Harrison. I can take the hit. Strike. Harrison caught him up a little bit on cards, and also it means that like, he still has Acolyte and Shield Block in his hand or in his deck, so th th those are dead cards unless he cycles them too. Okay, so he's definitely playing for the Fatigue. We can cheat a little bit with Elise though. This is my only shield slam right now, a little bit risky. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not playing Ysera though in his deck. Also, he can't really play this turn in 6-3. Like, I could kill Ysera with a A little bit bad, I have to take this trade. Now it's in range of a little bit more things like Execute and Baron Geddon. Probably doesn't warrant the coin bash on the slime though, especially since I can replace it with another minion. We're actually even on cards. This got me an extra card, and he shield blocked. He had to kind of keep up a little bit. It's kind of risky to never cycle to in Warrior Mirror. Like, me cycling helps with the least and just card, too. 
So we were like 25 armor on him. 24? 22? <laughs> Pretty bad math. 22 armor on him. With just Scar Hero Power developed. Now let's just play a control game. Our tempo kind of fizzled out, but we're not really far ahead. Like, we're still ahead in life. We're doing fine in cards, half a card ahead. We're ahead in life. Don't really have a hand or in tempo out anymore. Right, reason why I'm not playing any other cards, I don't really have any cards to play right now. They're all situational. I mean, both of us have removal, like Shield Slam and Executes. I can't really rely on, say, Grom attack him for four and just expect it to survive. Also, there's Brawl to play around. This gives him a target for BGH, which allows him to develop a threat. You can't really tempo BGH, but once you play something, you when you like you don't really want to open yourself up to BGH just because now you have to deal with the BGH too. But I had to deal with the two two and another no, no nothing else. Even if I get BGH, I can bash the BGH. So. It's better than bashing the two two. Because if he doesn't have BGH, then it's a lot better. He's played double Belchari, double Shield Main. I guess I'm playing Dr. Broom. Sometimes you want to save this Dr. Broom for playing it against the Sludge Belcher or against the Shield Main because when you play Boom, it usually baits out the Brawl. And if you play it into like one of their 5-5s five or 3-5s, they can't really Brawl as easily because it just kills their own minion. I guess time to think about it. This is not automatic play, by the way, because if you can guarantee a win without it, there's no reason to risk bad cards. It seems to me like I should play it. Not play anything first. There's nothing that's great to play for tempo first. Well, that's a pretty good one. I got a lot of good cards. This is really good, Palestris. I guess it's five four seven's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Everything's pretty good. Leroy's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> And this is not actually the only card that's not super good. I need it to die. Oh my! That's so lucky. My goal is to play a, a move where I'm not too weak to Sylvanas, and I kind of want to bail Sylvanas before playing Stalag Fugan, because once I play um, the least Monkey guy, there's no real way for me to deal with Sylvanas. It's, it's very hard. This is good because 6 6, I can trade into Sylvanas with the 6 6. So he's setting up for Brawl. He can even have double Brawl. I guess I play Death Rattles. No reason to overcommit. I want to play both of these and this because of, of double brawl even. Should be fine. How much damage is that? 15. No lethal. Uh, let's try. Put 
talents will be Okay, <laughs> I think I'm in a pretty good spot. There's no reason I ever commit. I didn't play anything else other than I want death for all guys. I guess even Tyrion I could have got away with not playing. Oh my god, that actually works like that because they die at the same time. This guy's a champ, survive two brawls. At the end of your turn, restore six. Okay, so it's bonus attack. It's just gonna heal him. I can wait Wow, this is actually pretty annoying. He's gonna attack something and execute. I guess I can play both Mukla and Juggernaut. So he executes this, attacks one of these. Boom. 